Hello, my friends. Continuing with this ModLink project, I am building the multi-part project, series of videos if you will, related to the Incredible Fury 2014 film. This third part is related to the The German Steyr, Type 1500A, Kommandeurwagen, in scale 1 to 35 from Tamiya, The following project is inspired by Relan Imaginary Events. This is the box of German Steyr, Type 1500A, Kommandeurwagen, in scale 1 to 35 from Tamiya. I will make the topless grey version, instead of the yellow, or the winter camouflage. The figures, most probably, will make them in another video, so, stay tuned. Basically, I will go for this version of the Kommandeurwagen. The box includes the clear sprue for the windows, as well as, the normal sprue and couple other plastic parts. Also, the decals and the manuals, of the 13 steps model kit. Everything seems beautiful, and of high quality with many details. Let's go. Cutting, and then smoothing up the parts with the hobby knife, file, and, or, sandpaper. When needed, using the hobby knife carefully in the opposite direction to avoid cutting or damaging the parts. Attention! Keep always in mind that after gluing, painting, etc., to let things dry. Gluing? Suspension and steering axis.
repaired the wheels and their parts. Assembling. These two may seem the same, but actually, they are different. Super gluing the vehicle's floor and its parts. This, I will remove, because at first I thought to have the trunk open, but then I changed my mind. Removing, and then keep on gluing the rest of the stuff. original plan was to have the trunk open and a spare tire placed here, but as I said before, I changed my mind, so I will keep the spare for another future project or something. The included hood grid, it is done off camera. Assembling. Just like the hood grid, these parts too, were done off camera. Combining. Placing the seats, starting with the back seat. Off camera, did these seats completely with their details. Attaching. Combining. A 
attach the lights, grills, etc. on the front side. Let's work on the back side now. Jerry can Jerry can but Tom can't Doors hood, which as I said earlier on, it will be open. These two, I will combine off camera. Done, and the same with the wheels and the binoculars that will be placed on the back seat space. I also prepared the figures of the driver, commander, and general. However, I will finish these on the next video or something. On this video, I will just airbrush them, just like the rest of the items, with German Panzer Grey. Masking tape on the window, and airbrushing with the German Panzer Grey. Remember, I am going for this version of the Kommandeurwagen. So let's do this. We'll do two coatings. While waiting for the first coating to dry, I am doing the wheels. Second coating. Painting with rubber and tires.
because the vehicle will be placed on the diorama that I have in mind. I will not paint here, as I should otherwise. However, I already started doing details on the inside, with cocky brown and black. Continuing with black. Done with black, glossy varnish now. According to the manual, I should be using Tamiya's red to paint the seats. However, I did a 50-50% mix of hull red and US flat brown and painting. Off camera, did few details with silver aluminum. Cocky and dark yellow mix for the cover. Painting. Two coatings of glossy varnish, only one on camera. After things have dried, MIGS decal set. Before placing the decals and MIGS decal fix, afterwards, the first prepares the surface and the second takes care of any curves, bumps, etc. Pressing with a cotton swab to take away the excess air or liquids below the decal without damaging it. Decal fix. Depending on the decal's placement, you may need to coat twice. Since these were vehicles for commanders and generals and they had extra good care, I am going for minimum chipping. Gray mixed with white and chipping away.
old rust on the exhaust. Medium rust mixed with little bit of old rust and continuing with the chipping. dark gray in certain spots. Enamel dark washing, so in case that something will go wrong, I can easily fix it.
brush and a cotton swab, plus enamel thinner, and cleaning up. Brown washing. back to black washing. Dry brushing with tan yellow. Fine sand, wet ground medium density mud splashes, and gloss medium. Mixing. If, when, the mix becomes thicker than you wish, like it happened to me now. You can always use an ammo thinner to correct it. Doing the weathering before attaching the tires, because it will be easier, faster, and better.
dark earth pigment mixed with acrylic thinner. Using a brush and the airbrush will sprinkle like so. Keep in mind what I said at the beginning of the video. I am building a multi-part project, inspired by the incredible Fury 2014 film, and this German Steyr Type 1500A, Commander Wagen, will be placed in a related diorama. Hopefully, you like the project, and you will enjoy the presentation. Since I am a new to this amazing art, please do share your words of wisdom, in the comments below.
Hit the like, subscribe, and notifications bell buttons. This way, together, we can grow a community around the exciting art of scale modeling. Stay tuned for more Fury inspired content, as well as for more scale modeling videos. Thanks for watching.